Hey guys, this is Ray. So in this video, I want to show you the differences between using import versus drag and drop. Both ways will get the audio into Pro Tools, but there's a couple of things that you have to uh, take into consideration. Now, a lot of you guys already know this, but I've seen people run into problems with this. Hey, in the beginning, I ran into problem with this particular issue. I want to make sure that whoever is having this issue can find this video and figure things out. And it's not really a a problem so normally control shift I it's gonna bring up this menu here which is the import audio I created a folder I have all my uh, stems there control a now I can do two things I can add files if I add all the files and I press done it's gonna come up it's gonna ask me what I want to do clips if you're using a version of Pro Tools that is slightly older it's gonna say region so you know what let's create new track and everything's good to go. You can start mixing, you can start recording, or whatever you want to do. But there's a slight problem that you might have noticed or you probably didn't notice. And here's the thing. Let's take a look at the session folder. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So here you go. This is the folder, which is June 4, tracked out audio files. None of the files are here. And that's a problem. So let's say you take this folder, put it in a thumb drive, or burn it to CD. You go to a friend's house, you're going to miss all all the audio content. The only thing you're probably gonna have here is whatever you decide to record. An easy way to fix this is file, save copy in. It's gonna bring you this dialog here. Go through all these uh, options here. Of course, you want your audio files. I'm not gonna talk about these options here, but check them out. And if you need them, select them. Make sure you set the sample rate correctly. All of this information, make sure it's just done correctly. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make sure everything's selected. And I am going to delete. And I still have these two tracks I need to get rid of. So if we go back to the audio file, there's nothing in there. So let's do something different. Let's open the import uh, menu again. And let's go to that folder that I created. Let's select all files. And this time, instead of adding files, I want to convert. And then make sure you sample rate everything's matching click done and check this out now is asking you where you want to save those files see choose a destination folder so i'm going to use this one by default make sure you're not adding this into another session you're going to have a whole lot of problems if you do use folder create new tracks and now let's go ahead and check that folder check this out you have all your tracks your stems within the proper folder pretty cool all right so let's do something else let's get rid of everything here okay so let's move on the next thing is drag and drop which is one of the things i like to use let's go ahead and go to uh that new folder where all my stems are i'm going to select all and i am going to just drag and there you go easier time to record we good to go but is all the material being copied to that folder? Let's find out. So let's go to audio files. And no, unfortunately, it's not. And that's an issue. And I've seen a lot of people are wondering, wait a minute, why does it work that way? And it's not working this way. How can I get Pro Tools to automatically copy all these files without having to go and do the whole file, save copy in? It's very simple. So let's go ahead and do what we did before. Let's get rid of all these tracks. Okay, so what do we do to fix this? Very simple. So we're going to go to Setup, Preferences. We're going to go to Processing. And over here, automatically copy files on import. That's it. Now, there's other options here. We're not going to cover that. So let's press OK. Now let's find that folder. And let's do the same thing. Let's copy. So when I was importing, you guys saw that it was taking a little longer. Reason it was processing each individual file, moving them to the right folder. And there you go. So now you can control S, you can start uh, importing your template and you could start mixing, recording, whatever you're gonna do. You can take this to another computer and you shouldn't really have any issues. So I don't have to really use the whole 
safe copy in. Don't get me wrong, safe copy in is very important. I use it all the time. I'm not gonna dive into it, but the point of this video was to show you how to properly import your tracks, get them into the proper folder. You can move them around. Maybe in the future, if you guys are interested, I'll show you the whole safe copy in and the reason why that's very important. If you have any issues, any questions, post in the bottom.